वेलकम स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू अल्टीमेट बायोलॉजी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन दिस न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज अ फ्रूट नाउ व्हाट इज अ फ्रूट फ्रूट इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ राइपन ओहरी सी एन इन केस ऑफ फ्रूट इज अ फ्लावर फ्लावर it consist of this one pedicel then here thalamus then this is a portion this one this is a structure we call it as a calyx then this is a color this one we call it as a corolla and is a male reproductive organ which is there this one we call it as a collectively androecium and innermost whorl of the flower that we call it as what gynoecium all these things we have seen in previous video now in this flower one process takes place we call it as a pollination transfer of pollen grain from this mature anther lobe to this receptive stigma then from after pollination pollen tube formation takes place then after pollen tube formation here it enters inside these uh, embryo sac fertilization takes place and after fertilization from primary endosperm nucleus endosperm formation takes place after endosperm formation means one primary endosperm cell divided into two cell zygote divide and transform into embryo so in this embryo sac in case of monocot monocot embryo formation takes place then monocots and in case of dicot dicot embryo formation takes place and as soon as these uh, complete like these of fertilization get a complete these a structure we call it as this one ovule get a transformed into seed and when seed formation get takes place simultaneously ovary wall get a ripen these all events which it takes place after pollination here and after fertilization these all events are interconnected with each other they are interdependent with on each other and these events ultimately after fertilization transform these ovary along with this ovule into a complete fruit so from these ovary wall from this ovary and inside this ovary this structure we call it as ovule after fertilization ovule get convert into seed and this ovary wall get converts into fruit wall and ultimately fruit formation takes place fruit is nothing but it is a ripen ovary fruit is nothing but it is a ripen ovary so here <coughs> fruit get differentiated into three type one is the true fruits second falls falls fruit and third one this one we call it as a parthano carpic fruit now what is a true fruits after fertilization means pollination process then here fertilization process get carried out after fertilization if a fruit formation takes place from this ovary from this ovary if a fruit formation takes place such a fruit we call it as a true fruits and that a true true fruit also known as eucarpic fruit see here in case of this flower this one this is a structure this one that is a female reproductive organ after fertilization this is a structure see here this one this structure after fertilization this structure get a convert into this one this structure get convert into fruit and in case of this a plant such a type of fruit formation takes place after fertilization if fruit formation takes place from this ovary only after fertilization such a fruit we call it as a true fruits or we call it as a eucarpic fruit majority of plants they show such a type of fruits we call it as a true fruits now these are true fruits get differentiated into fleshy fruits 
नेक्स्ट ड्राई फ्रूट्स गेट डिफरेंट डिफरेंशिएट इन टू ड्राई इन डेसेंट फ्रूट देन ड्राई डेसेंट फ्रूट देन नेक्स्ट दैट इज द स्प्लिटिंग फ्रूट एंड नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज द एग्रीगेट फ्रूट्स लाइक दिस नाउ हियर इन केस ऑफ दीज अ ट्रू फ्रूट्स इन केस ऑफ दैट फ्लेशी फ्रूट्स इन केस ऑफ दीज अ मैंगो we call it as a mangifera indica after fertilization ohri this one ohri wall get modified into this fruit wall ohri wall get convert into fruit wall like this a fruit wall formation is there see here in case of a mango this one the outer covering this one of this a fruit we call it as a epicarp ep means above carp carpel then this one middle portion this one edible portion which is a fleshy in nature we call it as a mesocarp and inner this a structure which is a stony in nature surrounds this a seed that a structure we call it as a endocarp epicarp mesocarp endocarp together we call it as a pericarp means that these three structure these are pericarp get differentiated into epicarp mesocarp and endocarp and inside this endocarp this hard structure seed is present this one seed so in case of a mango this a complete structure get formed by this ohri and this ohul after fertilization if a fruit formation takes place from this ohri and ohil get converted into seed like this in case of a mango such a fruit we call it as a true fruits second example see here in case of this a maize maize seed the botanical name of a maize is a zea maize and the zea maize this seed actually it is not a seed it is a complete fruit because the epicarp mesocarp and endocarp get a fuse with the seed coat like this it get fuse with the seed coat and such type of fruit formation takes place that a fruit we call it as a caryopsis and this a fruit include under this a dry in dehiscent fruit it is a dry fruit because epicarp mesocarp endocarp get fuse with the seed coat and inside this a maize seed here it is pump persist as it is an embryo present here in this embryo axis next see here this one is also a true fruits next see here that is a pod or a legume in case of a leguminous plant for example this one this one is a legume of paisam sativum watana and in case of these are paisam sativum all these are the seeds this one means these ohul get converted into seed after fertilization and these ohri wall get converted into this a fruit wall this one is the fruit wall now in case of these legume also this a fruit wall here what happened epicarp mesocarp and endocarp in case of these paisam sativum and in case of these arachis hypogea arachis hypogea shengdane in case of these arachis hypogea also like these seeds are there and this fruit wall which is there that fruit wall it become dry means it includes under dry fruits means in the in case of these paisam sativum matter and in case of these arachis hypogea we call it as what giri we call it as shengdane like this epicarp mesocarp and endocarp these are three carp means the pericarp get a fuse and it becomes dry and the seeds are present inside this a legume means the seeds they separate from the this epicarp mesocarp and endocarp from the pericarp like this the seeds they are separate in case of this this a fruit in case of this a caryopsis this epicarp mesocarp endocarp fuse with the seed coat means here seed and this epicarp they are not separate but here the seeds and these pericarp it get separate like this 
see here in case of these uh, example this one is the fruit of this uh, plant gulmohar and inside these uh, fruit seeds are present and that uh, seeds are separate they do not attach with this ohri wall by the placenta see here they are separate like this same seeds they are separate here in case of these uh, uh, we call it as pisum sativum and arachis hypogea then in case of these uh, splitting fruit for example these are uh, castor uh, ricinus here also the uh, seeds they are separate from the pericarp but the fruit get a split like this this is also example of what true fruits in case of this uh, aggregate of fruit in case of this ras uh, ras berry that is a rubus ideus this one in case of this ras ras berry that a fruit which is formed that all fruit that a droop in nature all that fruits are the true fruits like this means they are formed by this ohri wall and the seeds which are present in that fruit are formed from this ohri so these all are the true fruits means a true fruits means a such a fruits they are formed from the ripened ohri or after fertilization they are formed from formed by the from the ohri like this such a fruits we call it as a true fruits and next fruits we call it as a second type that is a false fruit here false means pseudo this is a false fruit also we call it as a pseudo carp pseudo carpic fruits now how this a false fruit formation takes place in the formation of fruit fruit process after fertilization fruit formation takes place through this ohri wall but along with this ohri wall other floral part for example this a thalamus or if in some cases a calyx they take part in the process of fruit formation then such a fruits we call it as a false fruits in case of true fruits only fruit formation takes takes place from this ripened ohri from this ohri after fertilization but in case of these uh, false fruit along with these uh, ohri thalamus also take part in the process of fruit formation or in some cases calyx also take part in the formation of what that uh, fruits due to which that uh, fruits we call it as a false fruit see here in case of this uh, malus domestica this uh, portion this one this portion is nothing but this one this portion is nothing but a thalamus what is it thalamus this one apple we call it as a fruit but this apple fruit is a false fruit it is a pseudocarpic fruit because in case of a flower see here in case of this is a flower as per rule fruit formation takes place from this ohri but in case of apple fruit formation takes place along with this the thalamus means this the thalamus play important role this the thalamus play important role in the formation of what fruit in case of this apple thalamus get converted into like this a fleshy structure in case of apple and this structure is nothing but this one this structure is nothing but this ohri like this ohri like this ohri or the the fruit which is there in case of apple the fruit is this one this one this one is the fruit this one is the fruit which is covered with the thalamus like this like this so these are uh, in case of uh, apple thalamus get converted into like this uh, structure covered with these covered to these uh, fruits means this apple is nothing but it is a false fruit it is a pseudocarpic fruits second example in case of these uh, anacardium these uh, occidental kaju in case of this a kaju thalamus this one this is a thalamus this one is the thalamus this one is the thalamus and this a thalamus take part in the process of this a fruit to formation see here this one this is a thalamus get modified into like this a fruit like structure but it is not a fruit this a structure we call it as a fruit and inside this a fruit seed is present this one kaju so this structure is nothing but a thalamus it get modified into apple like structure and at the tip of this apple like structure 
fruit for here fruit formation is there this one this a fruit is a dry fruit this one this one consist of epicarp mesocarp and endocarp inside which this epicarp mesocarp and in endocarp in case of these uh, anacardium get fused with each other and form say like this a fruit covering this one seed covering this one and seed present inside this a fruit wall this one these, these are the seeds like this means here fruit formation do not takes place only from the ovary fruit formation takes place along with the ovary from the other floral part of that flower such a fruit we call it as a false fruit in case of this anacardium see here this thalamus get modified into like this structure apple like structure fruit like structure it is a false structure thalamus take part in the process of fruit formation and then from the ovary this is a fruit formation is there like this next example in case of this ananas commosus one to these all see here many these structure they come close with each other and they forms like these a fruit like structure means a many flower means it is a complete inflorescence a complete inflorescence means a many flower which are present on one axis that is a floral axis many flower combined to form a one fruit such a fruits take place in case of these ananas this one and this a fruit is also known as a false fruit this a fruit also we call it as a parthenocarpic fruit because in each these a fruit in each these a these a structure seeds are totally absent due to which these a fruits are parthenocarpic fruits also both false fruit as well as what parthenocarpic fruit like this now third type of that fruit is parthenocarpic fruit for example in case of this citrus sinensis so many species are there citrus sinensis one we call it as orange second we call it as lemon like this fruit is a type of hesperidium type of like this a fruit and in this a fruit inside this a fruit here this a fruit formation takes place without act of fertilization such a fruits we call it as a parthenocarpic fruits see here in case of these are true fruits pollination process get carried out then fertilization takes place and fruit formation is there in case of these a false fruit pollination process takes place fertilization takes place but another floral part take part in the process of fruit formation in case of false fruit the seed formation is also there but in case of parthenocarpic fruit without act of fertilization if ovary get ripened means there is no pollination there is no fertilization still fruit formation takes place in case of this fruit if without act of fertilization fruit formation is there such a fruits we call it as a parthenocarpic fruits if a pollination is not there if a fertilization is not there then ovule do not transform into seed means such a fruits in which seeds are totally absent means such a seeds which are seed less fruits which are formed in the nature we call it as a parthenocarpic fruit one good example of a natural parthenocarpic fruit is banana musa acuminata in case of this musa acuminata in this banana fruits seeds are totally absent this a fruit ripened means this a fruits a flower in that flower ovary which is present there is no need of pollination there is no need of fertilization in case of this banana flowers the in case of this banana flower the ovary ripens naturally means fruit formation is there ovary get ripened naturally and inside that ovary inside this a fruit 
there is no seed means there is no seed formation in case of these uh, fruits such a fruits we call it as a parthenocarpic fruits but there are some plants in which seed formation is there see here in case of these banana and in case of these citrus in case of citrus seed formation is there no doubt but that seeds they do not germinate means here fruit formation process is there fruit that ohri it get a ripen seed formation is also there but seed do not reproduce only embryony like this a condition is present in case of this citrus that a seed such a fruits we call it as a parthenocarpic fruit without act of pollination without act of fertilization if a fruit formation is there that a fruit we call it as a parthenocarpic fruits in some cases for example in case of orchids second type of parthenocarpic fruit in which fruit formation takes place due to stimulation of what pollination in case of orchid pollination process takes place and due to that pollination that process stimulation get carried out and due to that stimuli due to that stimulation just the pollen get pollen grain get a transfer from anther lobe to the receptive stigma like this due to this ovary it get a ripen there is no fertilization but ovary it get ripen due to the stimulation of what pollination in case of these are uh, orchids third type of parthenocarpic uh, this is uh, a fruit formation takes place in case of uh, grapes the botanical name of grape is a uh, vitis vinifera in case of these uh, vitis vinifera grapes angur pollination process get carried out fertilization process is also takes place and when the embryo formation process start and when the embryo formation takes place at that time the in that process embryo it get abort there is a abortion of embryo in case of these vitis vinifera in case of these grapes in case of angur means in case of these grapes if the seeds are there in that seeds embryo is not present means this a fruit is also we call it as what parthenocarpic fruits nowadays farmers they are using auxin and gibberellin these are the phytohormones and farmers they are spraying this auxin and gibberellin on their uh, crop plants for example on chiku for example on tomato for example on watermelon flowers like this if these are tomato or grapes or we call it as a cucumber or that uh, uh, so many like these uh, uh, plants are there if on which if we spray auxin and gibberellin in some percent by diluting these uh, auxin and gibberellin if we spray these uh, phytohormones on the plant at the time of flowering process without act of fertilization fruit formation is there such a fruits if we buy from the market and if we cut such a fruits in that fruit if seeds are absent if we cut the tomato and in that tomato if seeds are absent means that tomato formed by the process we call it as what parthenocarpy if in the chiku if seeds are absent then that fruits are formed by the process we call it as what parthenocarpy without act of fertilization fruit formation is there we call it as what parthenocarpy in case of watermelon if we cut the watermelon and if inside the watermelon if seeds are absent parthenocarpy fruit in case of papaya papaya also if seeds are absent then that fruit formation takes place due to that parthenocarpy parthenocarpy process this is all about what that the fruits so we have seen that fruits are of these are three type true fruit second that is a false fruit and third one that is a parthenocarpic fruits now fruits get categorized into simple fruit then aggregate fruits and then composite or multiple fruits all that fruits get categorized into like these are three this one simple aggregate and composite simple fruits means such a fruits in which ovary with or without other accessory floral floral part 
convert into fruit then such a fruits we call it as a simple fruits in which ohri with or without other accessory floral parts together get converts into fruits we call it as a simple fruits then aggregate fruits means a single flower having apocarpus means a single flower is there having apocarpus carpel means carpels are not fused it is not a syncarpus it is a apocarpus means separate like this if a thalamus on which flowers are there each carpel is free in this way means it shows like these apocarpus type of these carpels in these flower and these all these carpel get ripen and forms a one fruit that a fruit we call it as aggregate fruit in case of these an eterio of berry anona sitafel in case of an eterio of droop this one rubus ras berry like this single receptacle this one receptacle and on which like these the fruits are present this one like this aggregate fruits and eterio of follicle in case of calatropis procera and eterio of achene in case of this and nilambo and third type that is a composite or multiple fruit in which the entire inflorescence which is there that entire inflorescence modified con convert into fruit for example sorosis in case of pineapple jackfruit cyconus in case of this is a banyan fig and this is a this is a pickle uh, people ficus religiosa now this is a simple fruit which is there this is a simple fruit get differentiated into dry fruit and fleshy fruits dry fruit get again differentiated into dry dehiscent and second dry in dehiscent means this one get a split after the formation of a fruit the legume get a split like this that is a dry dehiscent fruits second dry in dehiscent fruit and third one this one splitting or chaizocarpic fruits in simple dry fruits it get differentiated into like these are three fruits dry dehiscent dry in dehiscent and third one that is the splitting or chaizocarpic fruits and simple fruit that is a simple fleshy fruits simple fruit dry fruits and fleshy fruits dry fruit differentiated into three like this dry dehiscent dry in dehiscent and splitting dry dehiscent fruits are legume or pod p gram follicle vinca then silica silica then mustard then the silicula in case of this sipsela capsule datura cotton dry in dehiscent carafsis in case of maize wheat achene in case of dandelion then sipsela in case of this sunflower cosmos nut in case of walnut chestnut then lychee then samara in case of this is a samaraid fruit maple and splitting that is a lamentum in case of castor cremocarps in case of this is a carrot car carke rulus in case of this is a salvia osimum regma in case of this is a geranium and double samora in case of this is a acer fleshy fruits drup in case of mango coconut almond berry or baka in case of tomato banana grapes and brinjal pepper fruits are cucumber then melon watermelon palm fruits are apple pears hesperidium fruits are these are orange and these are lemon so these are all the different types of fruits out of these are different these are fruits some fruits are true fruits p gram in case of this vinca in case of this capsela maize wheat then dandelion then sunflower here castor carrot like this many examples they are the true fruits second 
false fruit out of these uh, fruits this uh, apple is a false fruit then next one these a uh, pineapple then this is a jackfruit then this is a banyan we call it as a ficus bengalensis fig people ficus religiosa these all are the examples of false fruit and out of these some fruits are parthenocarpic fruits for example banana natural parthenocarpic fruit grapes then next orange lemon and here this is a chestnut and some examples are there they are the parthenocarpic fruits so here we categorize these fruits into types true fruits false fruit and parthenocarpic fruit and again we categorize into simple fruit aggregate fruit and these are composite fruit like this and out of these examples some are true fruits some are false fruit and some are what parthenocarpic fruits these are all simple fruit aggregate fruit these are composite fruit these are all examples or these are all dry dehiscent dry in dehiscent splitting and these are all these are fleshy fruits aggregate fruits these are etinio of achene and follicles and drupes and etinio of berries and these are sorosis and these are cyconus type of fruits we will see detail in the chapter morphology of that flowering plant so please watch that video morphology of a flowering plant in which we will we will see the details of these all fruits dear student if you like this video then kindly subscribe my channel